an unexpected uh, uh, friend showed up here. I didn't know that Matt Noble was going to be sailing. But uh, how you doing, brother? Good, man. Good. Welcome to On the Water Anarchy from uh, from the Gorge. Um, you've sailed in the Gorge a lot, I'm guessing. Yes. Yeah. Um, San Francisco boy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this isn't the conditions that I have heard about. Yeah, the first couple of days we showed up, you know, we could we could sail in the morning and you could sail in the afternoon, but during the middle of the day, it was it was up towards like 35. So people were sitting on the beach. Yeah, a lot of breakages yeah. and. Yeah. But this is—is is this more typical, or is this, this seems a little bit light to me? You know. Oh uh, yeah, this is—I'd say this is definitely like uh, light for the gorge. I guess yeah. moderate for the gorge is eighteen to twenty-three, and so right. I guess this would probably be considered light. Right, right. So this is your first—I uh, mean, you sailed one event a little bit, but this is your first real event in the moth, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm very new to the boat. And this is a uh, hungry beaver. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is an uh, angry moth. <laughs> angry moth. Angry moth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A rabbit moth. Yeah. But whose design is it? It's a uh, it's a Fasta craft from uh, Western Australia. Oh, John Illett. Yeah, and it's um it's got Blade Rider foils in it though. Okay. With modified, yeah. So you just had to modify the box. And, yeah, yeah. And then you're chartering it though, right? Yeah. Or you're borrowing. I'm borrowing it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. So how how have you been going out there? Um, you know, I've been dealing with so many breakdowns today. It was like really the first day I was able to get out. Right. Um, I had you know for for flailing around the course, I you know I got upwind speed. I just got to figure out how to turn the boat. Um, <laughs> yeah. What do you think about um uh, about the class? Are you going to stay in it? Are you going to get one? I mean, oh, certainly. You know, the boats are uh, the boats are out of control. I mean, it, it adds a third dimension to sailing. Yeah. You know, um, and the fleet the fleet's really taking off too. Yeah, it That's really cool. is. Um, so if you guys don't know, Matt, forty uh, nine er uh, champ and and uh, uh, eighteen foot skiff uh, uh, sailor and just a general adrenaline junkie, compare um, the moth to the to the sort of way the eighteen goes through the water. Um, the 18 is certainly like a bigger, heavier, truck-like boat. Um, I'd say both of them are equally as scary when it starts blowing. <laughs> you know? Well, you're going similar speeds, really, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, what about uh, sailing alone? How much single-handing have you done in the past 10 years? Um, the only single-handed I've done has um, been laser radials, and that was years ago. Was yeah. Back when I was a junior. So, are you happy to be alone and not have to deal with anyone's bullshit? <laughs> you know, when I when I mess up, I don't have anybody to blame. So that's not as yeah. <laughs> right on, Matt. Well, look, we'll be keeping an eye on you. You're certainly easy to see with this uh, angry moth uh, faster craft. For sure. But good luck out there, man. Thanks. All right. Take care.